Another situation that we set up for you. We just played. We played one three five down. When it's a little bit longer, one forty. But we're straight into the breeze now. Yes. So, so again, I've got. You've got three clubs here. What, what are our options here? The flags on the left. So what I always try to do in the flags on the left is draw it in. If the flags on the right, I might cut it in. I might, depending on how I feel on mm. that day. So now I've got three clubs. I've got a seven iron. Yeah. A six iron and a five wood. Okay. Okay. So here we go. So now the seven iron, because I've got to hit it hard, I'm going to hit it to the right, the right, Lovely and try fight. and put it on the green without getting greedy. Yeah. That, See that? Yeah, this is coming around. That's pin eye again. There's right. A, there's now, a lot of green here. Now, what I can do is take the seven iron, and I can hit it a lot lower than that. See? And I'm going to hit a little draw. Watch this time. The flag's on the left. And hit a little bit lower. Oh, wow. See, I just tell me punch that right to yeah, the middle yeah. of the green. Look at this. Yeah. See, both those balls are on the green. They're pin eye, both. Right. Of them. So now I'm going to take a six iron because, for my liking, even though it's putting for a birdie, the ball went a little high. Okay. So I'm going to take a six iron right low down like this. See, and I'm just going to hit a little chip shot with it. Watch there. See how low that went? Yep. Just a little chip shot, right in the middle of the green. But, so now I'm going to shoot this one at the flag this time. I'm going to aim it there just with a little, little chip shot. Oh, fantastic. Look at that shot. Yeah. Yeah. 15, 10 foot from the hole. Perfect yardage. You now, get give me the five wood. There you go. So now, I'm going to play this one with a little five wood. Now this time, it'll go very low. Take the five wood, but it will come down a little bit softer. See, at the flag there. Just a little chip shot with it, watch. See the height? Yeah, watch this, watch this. Ball That's gonna go right in the hole for a one, watch it, this. It, oh, I'd love it to, yeah. So there, are three different clubs. Yeah. And that's when you have good course management and how you're feeling that day and having knowledge of the game to play the right shot at the right time. Now here we have a bunker, just to give you an idea. I'm five foot seven and this bunker is that height, so it's five foot high. A very high lip, uh, not accustomed to seeing that in other countries in the world, but over here they've done this, which I think is marvelous. So now I've got here, I've got here now a 60 degree loft. When we played, we never had it. I played all my golf with a 56 degree loft. So I had to stand here to this uh, flag right here and I'd take the 56 and as I hit the ball, I'd add loft. I did this. I had to add loft to it. Now you've got a 60, you just take a swing and it comes out. Yeah. What a difference. Watch this club. I don't even think of this lip here. There's the flag. Watch where he's standing. Watch this. So it just comes out. Where did that go? Yeah, fantastic. Yes. Yeah, okay. So now, did that run quite a bit, Mark? It released a little bit. It released a bit. All right. So now we allow for that release here. Yeah. How's that? It gripped. Yeah. There's a big difference. Right. So now, what I did there. I opened the face, okay? Stood wide. You must stand wide in a bunker because you don't want spaghetti knees in a bunker. You want to keep your weight and be stable and sort of keep your weight anchored on your left side. Now, you've got to cock your wrist as quickly as you can. A quick wrist cock. Why? Because with a quick wrist cock, it enables you to release. If you go back stiff wrists, you've got no release, no club head speed. And what do you want in a bunker? Club head speed. Club speed, you want that zip. Uh, you, what I call light the match. 
So what I did when I used to teach 20 lessons a day to travel over to Britain and America at 50 cents a time, I used to get the members in the bunker and draw a matchbox. There's a matchbox. And I put the ball on there. I said, now you've got to light that match. You can't light the match if you go slowly. You had zip. Yeah. So now there, you're lighting the match. Watch. With this ball now, I'm going to light the match. Watch there. That's in. You yeah. see the light, the match. Yeah. Something. When I practiced in the mornings, every morning at 6 o'clock, I never left until I hold five. Some days I did it quickly. Some days I didn't do it. I'd have to come back after work. Now, here comes, Mark, can you go back to the hole? Now comes a very difficult. The most difficult shot in golf is a long bunker shot. By far. There's no shot that is as tough as this. And the weekend golfer takes the wrong club. Give me the pitching wedge now. This is where you don't want loft. In fact, this shot where that flag is now, is you couldn't ever have a harder shot. Try to get the ball up with a pitching wedge. Try to get it up. Now, I might not do that. And to reach the flag, weekend golfers, 100% short of the flag. Mm. Pros, 80% short. Now, you take a pitching wedge, see? Pitching wedge. Yeah. That's going to be my best shot today. That's fantastic. Yeah, it's panayic. Panayic. Yeah, yeah. With that look. Yeah. I'm not hitting another one. No, that's it. <laughs> <laughs>Right, Gary, final situation for you. We've got a bit of a kind of risk or reward situation. So par four, we've got bunker down the left on the angle of a sort of slight dog leg, really. Mm -hmm. Sort of weaves its way around right to left. But mm -hmm. 230 is the bunker on the left. Mm -hmm. Now, obviously, there could be a possibility of going over that corner, mm -hmm. leaving yourself a really short second in. But what Even would you driving do? the green. Maybe so, yeah. That bunker on the left, 230 yards, yes. 240 yards. Now, for the, the pro, it's back there, so it's also a risk-reward. If you carry that bunker with the wind behind you and the ground hard, you could almost drive the green. If you slice it, you've got that bunker on the right, so you want to avoid these two bunkers. Because mm. if you go in the two bunkers, you've got a lip that's so high you can't reach the green. Now, but the sensible shot is to understand your ability. So most people should stand here, just take an iron, three iron, Put it down on the fairway, wedge shot to the green, you're going to have a putt for a birdie anyway. So you've got to really, risk-reward holes have ruined many scores in mm. golf. So, so here so, we go. So, we're not, so, not, so what would you choose here? Then? Today so with not, a win behind, yeah. I'm going to try and carry that bunker. You're going to go for yeah. that. Because yeah. we're on a forward tee. Yeah. Right over it. Right over it. I cut it the green, Gary. Look at my, look how I'm standing. All my weight on the left side. On my right toe to make the dough. Well, and a good long follow through, as can be expected at 85. Well, it's a fantastic finish because I think the, the likelihood is that's on the green or very, very near close, to it anyway. Very close. Fantastic shot.